what's up this is Dennis Nation welcome back this is a quick uploaded video or update video excuse me of Miss Pascal Pascal is currently swimming and uh, I figured while I was showing you guys the update of how she's doing and how much she's grown since the last time you saw her I was the unboxing and I'll show you her colors and everything like that I'll go ahead and talk about a good way to make sure your dragon gets the water that he or she needs more so than just the greens so as you can see here it's just a regular bathtub um, with a towel on one side and she's just loving it. We do this weekly, um, sometimes two times a week, but mostly just one time a week. And generally speaking, she'll just take her head and bother right down into the water and start drinking because she knows what to do. But one of the things that you can do uh, to make sure your dragon knows that there is water below them if they, because they don't see stagnant water, they just kind of flick it like this and it'll get their attention usually. The other thing I like to do is take a little bit of water and just kind of pour right on the top of their snout like that. And usually, they start licking their lips and then they'll bow their head down. Now we've already done this, so I don't expect her to start drinking, but this is the way that you would do this, okay? So you just take just a little bit and she's not gonna do it, but she might go ahead and lick. Sorry about that. And you'll see that in a second, but you guys get the idea, right? And that's how you'll get your dragon to lick. You'll also notice that it's kind of puff up like a big old pancake. So just trying to make sure that they're buoyant in the water that they flow, okay? Nothing to be alarmed about, it's normal. Your dragon should have a good time uh, swimming, and um, you can watch all the fun. I put the towel in here. This part's dry, but down below is wet, obviously, because it's in the water. Just to have something to uh, stand on, because usually after she starts swimming for a while, she might get tired, and she'll kind of run over to this side uh, with the towel and do her thing over there. Now, one of the things to keep note of is the water temperature. So if you guys are familiar with like those little baby duckies that show the temperature, that's a great thing. Or you take the sensitive side of your palm or your wrist, put it under the water and feel it because it's less calloused than your hands, okay? Um, so you want something, so you can go lukewarm. Uh, I like to go just a little bit warmer than lukewarm, but just know your temperatures. That's really it. Um, you can also try a temp gun. And then one of the last things is when the water gets too, too high, all you gotta do, boop, and you're good to go. So that's how I moderate. I sit here with my dragon. I let her do her bathing. And then uh, when she's done doing her swimming like she's doing right now, she loves it. Uh, we'll go ahead and put her back in the cage. And I'll go ahead and drop her right into her basking spot so she can stay nice and warm. Um, and she, of course, will move around her cage as she normally does. And I apologize about the lighting here, guys. It's like midday. But at least I wanted to show you Pascal and update you on her colors. I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. Drop a note down below if you guys want to know anything else or how she's doing or questions about her genetics or anything of that nature. But this is Miss Pascal. She is a fun little lizard. She's a sweet girl. And she's almost, I believe, five months now at this point. Maybe six months if I look back and uh, figure out the math on it. This camera does not do her justice. She's very yellow. And you'll typically see your dragons lighten up too in the, in the uh, nice warm baths. Take care, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Toodles!